I love being able to come to work every day and, and paint a picture. Starting with nothing and creating something amazing. It's almost like playing God. You get to recreate the world how you want it to look. I love making the magic. Making stories more beautiful. Just being the person who puts everything together. The whole process of thinking of how to create things that don't necessarily exist. There's constant learning. Discovery. We're making people's visual dreams come true. Making the client happy. Making yourself happy. It becomes kind of like reality, but you've created it. It's been kind of a long road for me. I was an assistant in machine room. Dubbing, black and tape. I used to be a 3D artist. I was interning. I was an assistant editor. I'll never forget it. I looked up and saw what I now know to be an action schematic. I was flabbergasted by how beautiful it looked. It was just like, wow, it's really hard. I want to do that. A flame artist came up to me, asked me if I wanted to learn, and I said yes. Took a few classes. Started going into the room on my own whenever I had free time. Never looked back. <laughs> All of the avenues of my life that I've been interested in came together in compositing. It was just amazing. Working with clients in the suite, being able to take the creative side of my life and my abilities and channel them through a software that's super technical, it's cool. Working with everyone, not just working on one part of it. You gotta love people, you gotta love communicating with people, you have to know how to express yourself. That's one of the parts of the job that no one really tells you about when you're first learning, but it's a big part of it because we're a service industry at the end of the day, we're making people happy. A lot of everyone you're working with are guys, so you can be bros and kind of be friends, but with women you have to have a step of distance. It's been interesting working in a field dominated by men. I've been really lucky, I think. I've had a lot of talented women in my career to support me and inspire me. I went in very much like, this is what I want to do, what path do I need to take? The only jobs that I could get were receptionist jobs. And I kept seeing men hired to do vault or machine room positions, and I felt like I had to do an extra step. And then I've had clients who requested me, and then Everyone goes, oh, they like you. Well, maybe they just like my work. It's, it's really different than a man's experience. A lot of the stereotypes do happen. Being a female, having a family in this industry, it can be hectic. I was a little anxious uh, when I got pregnant about one, telling people, two, figuring out how I would be able to pull it off. It's also a magic trick. <laughs> To talk about this separates you, and that could be bad. We need more women in the industry to offset that thinking. I love being an artist. That's what has kept me in this field so long. It is a very difficult path, but it is so rewarding. It's totally worth it. I think there's a picture of me somewhere hugging an Autodesk Flame box. <laughs> I love everything about Flame. Women can do it. I think women are very flexible. It just makes you a better, more well-rounded person. And I feel enthusiastic when I see young women getting into it because why shouldn't we be here? We get picked on projects because they want to have a female eye on it. You can lend a different perspective. There's more and more female clients and directors. This is the first company I've worked with. There's female artists at every level. I made it quite clear what I wanted to do and from that moment it seems like people respected that. Anything that I see that is good is, you know, being equal. You want to just be a flame artist. They look past the gender, they look past the race, they look past all that and they say, wow, that's a really talented person. <laughs> I'm going to work with that in person because I love their work. All that other stuff sort of falls away. <laughs>